Hi, so in this video, I will be covering an important concept, but not one of those topics that are frequently tested. And uh, in the last video, just to give you a quick reminder, I just did some complex examples of uh, expansion. And in this video, we're going to be learning how we can use the expansion to estimate the value of something that looks like this. So uh, I'll show you what it, uh, part B is. So it says, use your answer to part A to estimate the value of 1.02 to the power 9, correct to four decimal places. But of course, before we can do that, we have to do part A. Okay, so this is something that we have been doing for quite a while now. So I'm sure this is not something you're going to struggle with. So 1 plus 2x, the whole thing to the power 9. So we start with r equals to 0. So that means 9c0, 1 to the power 9, and 2x to the power 0. And in the last video, I said I want you to observe, although that's not relevant in this video, uh, in, in this concept, I want you to observe. What I said was that I want you to observe what happens to the power of x as, uh, I mean, look at the value of r and the power of x, and you'll notice a pattern. And uh, I'm afraid for, for the pattern, for me to actually officially reveal the pattern, you'll have to wait for another video, in the next video for sure. I'll tell you what the pattern is and I'll use the concept, the relevant concept to tell you how we can use this pattern. Okay, now enough about that. So r equals to three, that's the that's going to be the fourth term. So nine C three, one raised to the power of six and two X, the whole thing cubed. Okay. Okay, I just realized the question said the first three terms, not the fourth term, so we'll just cross this out. All right, so first term is going to be one. So just remember that whenever the first term of the expansion is one, so the answer of the first term is going to be one also. And then when r is one, so nine c one is nine into two x, so that's going to be 18 x. And let's work out nine c three, uh, sorry, nine c two, not nine c three, nine c two multiplied by two x whole square. So that means multiplied by four. So I'm looking at 144 x squared. So I'll just double check. 9c2 is 36. 36 times 4 is, is indeed 144. Okay. So now we have the expansion of the first three terms. Let's write it down nicely. So the expansion is 1 plus 18x plus 144x squared. Okay. Now you may be wondering that is this really new? And the answer to that is it's not. You're right. But what we're about to do is something that's new for us. So it says use your answer to part A to estimate the value. So notice how it says estimate, and you may be wondering that why can't we just do 1.02 to the power nine and find out what the value is? Well, because the question says that you have to use your answer to part A. Had the question said hence or otherwise, which let me tell you, by the way, it's not gonna say in a question like this, but had the question said that, then you could have used whatever method you wanted. Okay, so let's copy paste the expansion from the previous part. Okay, so we have that right over here. Now the question is that how exactly do we use our answer to the previous part to estimate the value of 1.02 to the power nine? Well, if we put the two expressions together, you might observe something. And what you should observe, what you should have observed by now is that both of them have power 9. So if both of them have the same power, that means we can compare or equate whatever is inside the bracket. Okay, so like, for example, if you have 2 cube, which is equal to x cube. All right, so it's a no brainer that it's x that's equal to 2. And that's how we it's like taking cube root on both sides and to get the value of x and that's equal to 2. So just like that, you could take the ninth root on both sides. And when you do that, you'll realize that 1 plus 2x is equal to 1.02. So let's solve this for the value of x. So 2x is equals to 0 0.02 and x is equals to 0 0.01. So what we're really looking for over here in order to estimate the value of 1.02 to the power 9 is that value of x that we can plug in because what else can you do with this? You can maybe multiply it by something, you can maybe divide it by something, add something, but x will always be there, right? So what you're really looking for is that value of x which you can then plug in this expression and find out the estimate of 1.02 to the power 9. So we have just found that that's 0 0.01. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to plug in 0 0.01 in place of x and everything else will just remain as it is. So for this, I would strongly suggest that you use your calculator as it is. All right. I mean, this is not something you can work out mentally, but if that's what you plan on doing, then please don't do that. So 0 0.01, the whole thing squared. Okay. So I am looking at 1.0162. And since this is a terminating decimal, you should not round this off. You should give it exactly the way you see it, okay? 1.0162, yeah, here it is. And that's exactly how I've written it. All right, so that's part B taken care of. Hope you've understood what I've done. 
okay here's uh question number two another example basically very much similar to the previous one so here we have one minus x to the power nine uh and we need to expand this up until the term in x cube okay so that means we're gonna start with r equals to zero so this becomes nine c zero one to the power nine minus x to the power zero and then we have r equals to one which means nine c one one to the power eight minus x to the power zero and then we have r equals to 2, 9c2, 1 to the power 7, minus x to the power 2. And then we have r is equals to 3, which is what gives us the term in x cube. Okay, so another important hint for you guys. And this, like I said, is relevant for the upcoming concept. Okay, so first term is 1. The second term is going to be minus 9x. Okay, keep that in mind. The third term, however, is 9c2, so that's 36x squared. And for the third, sorry, for the fourth and final term, 9c3, that's 84, but it's going to be minus because r, you can see, is odd, okay? So that's how it works. If r is odd, you get negative. If r is even, you get a positive term. So the final expansion is 1 minus 9x plus 36x squared minus 84x cubed. Okay, now, here is a question that's very much similar to the one we did earlier. And I will encourage you guys to pause the video and give it a shot yourself. I'm sure you'll be able to do it, okay? Because it's literally the same concept. The only thing that's gonna change is the value of x. Okay, so I'm assuming you paused the video and you did it yourself. And now you're watching the videos to check what the final answer is. Okay, so one minus x equals to 0 0.98. All right, this is what is gonna give us the value of x, which we're gonna plug in. So x equals 0 0.02. Again, just to be on the safe side, let's use a calculator. Yep, 0 0.02. And we have the expression from the previous part, which we are now going to use to find the estimate value, estimated value of 0 0.98 to the power 9. Okay, so 1 minus 9 into 0 0.02 plus 36 into 0 0.02 squared minus 84 into 0 0.02 cubed. All right. So this, I'm just going to type in the calculator as it is and just give you the final answer. 0 0.02 squared minus 84 into 0 0.02, the whole thing cubed. All right. So I'll just do a double check before I hit the equals to sign. 1 minus 9 into 0 0.02 plus 36 into 0 0.02 squared minus 84, oops, sorry, uh, into 0 0.02 cubed. All right. So, okay. So I have the answer. It is 0 0.833 seven two eight okay so the question said that i should give the correct answer the final answer correct to four decimal places so i'm going to do just that so that becomes 0 0.8337 and there you go that's it that's your final answer now i will uh give you guys a little secret what i want you to do is i want you to actually work out the value of 0 0.98 to the power 9 and you'll notice that the answer is indeed 0 0.8337, correct to four decimal places. So your answer will always be very close to what the value is if you were to work it out, you know, the conventional way by just using your calculator. Okay, so that brings me to the end of this video. I hope you've understood everything that I've done over here. And in the next video, I will be teaching you this very important concept where we are going to be asked to find the coefficient of x or not just x, x squared, x bar five, whatever. And we'll see what happens when x is in the first term and what happens when x is in the second term. So yeah, that's it for this video. See you guys in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.